96.3 WHUR. That was Fighters by Cheryl Fortune from her brand new CD, Simply Cheryl. And I'm with her right now. Hi, Cheryl. Hello. How is everybody doing? And how are you doing, Miss Jackie? <laughs> I'm doing good now that you're here. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm this excited. Is, this is absolutely beautiful. Simply Cheryl in that song. Fighters. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to in that song? Wow. Number one, I, I wanted to create an anthem. I'm a survivor of domestic violence. So coming out of that, I really wanted to kind of touch the hearts of women who've gone through what I've gone through or who are currently going through what I've gone through and just kind of give them a sense of hope and that there's better on the other side. So that was my initial target was two women who've gone through what I've gone through. But I also wanted to create something that would just resound and touch the hearts of so many other people that just kind of deal with life. Yeah. Well, for those who don't know, um, tell tell us what you went through. Yeah. So, um, for those who don't know, I was married to James Fortune. Um, we were very prominent in the gospel industry, in the music industry period, you know, and I went through an abusive situation for over 14 years. I was in this marriage, um, and it actually started before marriage, and um, had a final episode October of 2014, um, last domestic um situation that happened and I did have to go to the hospital um, had some severe bruising um, no broken bones which I'm grateful for because some women are not as fortunate and um, went to the hospital and, and it kind of went for there I think that was my breaking point that was my breaking point of dealing with all of that now how many children do you have I have four he and I have three together four children total 20 13 12 and 10 yeah. So they witnessed all this? Yes, they did. My three younger children did witness. They were in the room when it actually happened this last time. So um, that was another thing. I was like, this is it. You know, this time I can't show my children that this is acceptable behavior. I um, never want them to grow up thinking that that's how they're supposed to operate in relationships and operate in life. And um, there was an angel at the hospital, a doctor who had treated me almost two years prior to that for um, stress ulcers. I was in the hospital, got down to 100 pounds, um, couldn't eat. I was on morphine, just on all kinds of things because I, I was so sick from dealing with everything. And um, she whispered in my ear and she said, have you had enough? She said, this is it. And um, it was like God sent an angel my way. Yeah, sent an angel my way to confirm this is it. My way of escape. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, there might be somebody listening right now that's yeah. going through the same thing Absolutely. that you went through. What would you want to tell them? What do you want to say to them? Number one, that is not love. And um, if you've already recognized these patterns, and of course, I'm sure that it's happened more than once because that's just how it is. And we are in denial at first. Get out of denial. Get some help. Um, there's the domestic violence hotline, 1-800-799-SAFE, but more than that, I always make myself available to people just to kind of help them. What do you need me to do to help you get out of this? I'm praying that a light bulb comes on, that you get away from that situation, that you step out, that you heal, that you get the necessary help because it's not okay. It is it's not, not okay. okay. No. Just and that you're going to be okay. You know, I think when we're in those situations, we're stuck. We don't think that there's better. We um we become very succumb and numb to the situation, but it's not okay. Come out of that thing. I promise you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. Did you find any help from your church family? Um, not really because I really didn't turn to that. Um, I really did have some family members that kind of helped me through it, and then I got counseling. And it's okay to go to counseling, people. It's okay, um, which was a huge, huge, huge help. Um, then I would say maybe a few months after that, I got up under a ministry that really kind of helped me through that entire healing process. So, yes. Yeah. And how about your kids? Are they going through a counseling process too? Oh, absolutely. Too? Absolutely. My kids are definitely going through, the, through counseling. I'm a firm believer in it um, because... I'm concerned about their future and I want their future to be okay and they do they have counseling and I keep us I keep my children surrounded around people that are going to help them as well come through this well this this beautiful CD simply Cheryl um, I'm sure this was therapy also how did you select the songs do you, do you write songs oh, tell us about the songs on this CD and how it all came together yeah, so I do write, and I love to write. Um, I've written for quite a few people, and I've been writing for a very, very long time. It's a passion of mine. And so some of these songs did come out of my experience, and a lot of these songs are where I currently am right now in my life. And that's experiencing love, joy, 
and peace and I wanted it to be a representation of, of what I came out of and that you know I'm not in a in a bitter place I'm not in a victim place but I'm in a victory place and I kind of wanted to show people that this is not where you have to remain you can come out of that thing and you can come out of that thing so much better than it ever was um and that's what i wanted to kind of display on this record so i'm taking you on a journey um the beginning of the record i'm touching on my favorite era of music which is 80s and 90s music mm -hmm. and um then i kind of take you on a journey of my healing what i went through what i was kind of stuck in but how i came out of it and um dealing with the support that i had and also dealing with my faith you know that really sustained me in this time and help me come out of that. So yeah, mm. I'm excited. Well, I'm, I'm excited too because this is beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful. Um, as Cheryl said, the first half of the CD has that '80s '90s feel. I was telling her, it reminded me of Jody Watley. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. I just love because that was substance, timeless music back then, and I wanted us to just kind of make. You know, I want us to feel good about music again, you know, because I feel like we've kind of lost it and everybody's trying to shift to this one style of music. Um, and we've kind of, you know, just gotten lost. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just want to make people feel good about music again and appreciate it. And the message didn't change, you know, so. And there's like a B-side to the CD yeah. where she <laughs> slows it down and really does music from the heart. Just beautiful, beautiful music about how... Uh, she gives it all up to the Lord and wants to be a reflection of God. Uh, mm -hmm. But my favorite is the last song, wow. Truth Is. Tell us about that song and who you're talking to with that song. Ooh, Truth Is? Actually, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> talking to myself. Um, I just remembered, um, this is actually the, the one song on here that tells my story. And uh, it talks about a place of of how I was acting on the stage and how I was cutting it on, cutting it off, you know, and how I was actually living um, really in a denial, you know, and living in a numb place. And I'm kind of touching on that in this song. But the amazing thing about it is coming out of that, I really found the truth about God. And that was his love for me, which in turn made me realize that I don't have, have to accept the wrong kind of love because his love and his grace um, is, is so ever present. And that's what I kind of stepped into. And I really realized that that's the truth, that he loves me and that his grace is sufficient and his grace is extended to me. And so, yeah, that's, you know, not coming out of a bad place, but I kind of flipped it a little bit to talk about my story. But then I came into the truth of it all. And that's his love. Well, you truly are an inspiration for mm -hmm. all of us. Uh, those of us who are stuck in a prison yeah. that we don't even at times realize we are in or for those of us who know we're in a prison but don't know how to get out. Yeah. And for those of us who are coming out of that prison to have a new life and rise again like you are having right now, I'm so thankful to God for your success hmm. in getting out and getting on with your life. And this song, Truth Is, is truly a testament to that. So Cheryl Fortune, God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Jackie. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that's what I want. I want people to realize that there's something on the other side. There's something on the other side, and it's great. Cheryl Fortune on 96.3 WHUR.